invite you all. So you know whether it's that's it. I wouldn't want you to. Well, she looks like she's twenty eight, and you look like you know that you see what I call her. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. I share this passage with you as we are in Shabbat Shuva. We are in the Shabbat in between, as you know, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, and we read these words. This is the season of return, of returning to ourselves and to our people, of returning to our God and returning to our calling. This is the season of quiet, 
of quieting the mind to hear the voice, of quieting the heart to hear the soul, of quieting the self to make space for the ain self. This is a season of surrender, of surrendering odd quirks and old habits to dignity and kindness, of surrendering fear and despair to hope and adventure to honor and service. This is a season of return, of returning to wholeness and love, to prayer and charity, to family and friends. This is a season that reminds us of who we are and who we might become, the season that summons us to return ourselves to purpose and our lives to God's holy word. We continue as we do each Shabbat evening with the kindling of the Shabbat lights that can be found on page 121, and we are honored to have Karen and Ron join us. Page 121 as we continue. These Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we by our lives give light to all who behold us, as their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. <coughs> Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hails us with misfolk, commanding us to kindle the light of Shabbat. Baruch atah Adonai, el aleinu One hundred twenty three as we continue and we rise for Kiddush. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam, Boreh Elik Agafen. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam, Asher Kirishar Bemitzvot Averot Zavanu, Beshabbat Kotshav Yom Avrotzon, continue on page 127 and I want to draw your attention today in particular and tomorrow as well for those who are here for our Shabbat morning worship that we have some additions to our service given that it is the Shabbat in between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur so in the places where you see Shabbat Shuva that is for us to pray together and uh, and so in the places that you feel like I didn't remember that being there. It's because it only shows up once a year, and that's to draw our attention to this very holy time in which we find ourselves between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Let's continue on page 127, the bottom of the page, together. We offer thanks, O God, for this Shabbat, which unites us in faith and hope, for Shabbat holiness, which inspires sacred living, for Shabbat memories glowing even in darkness, for Shabbat peace, born of friendship and love, we offer thanks and blessing, O God. 
Join us, please, as we continue on page 138 with the singing of Lecha Dodi. It is our custom to sing verses 1, 2, 5, and 9. At verse 9, we rise, we face the back door, and we greet, we welcome the Sabbath bride. Page 138. <laughs> service continues on page 145. Teach me, O oh God, a blessing, a prayer, on the mystery of a withered leaf, on ripened fruit so fair, on the freedom to see, to sense, to breathe, to know, to hope, to despair. Teach my lips a blessing, a hymn of praise, as each morning and night you renew your days, lest my day be today as the one before, lest routine set my ways. We continue with the chanting, the singing of Chatzi Kaddish.
continue with the call to worship with the Barhu, I invite you please to rise. Ta Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher B'divaro Ma'ariv Aravim, Bahochma Poteach She'arim, Uvitvuna Mishane Itim, Umachalif Et HaZmanim, Umisader Et HaKochavim, Bamishmar Tehem Barakia Kirzono, Bore Yom Valayla, Golel Or Mibne Choshech, Bahochech Mibne Or, Umavir Yom Ume Vilayla, Umabdil ben yom uvein laila, Adonai sevaot shemo, El chai vekayam tamid imlocha lenu leolam ed, Baruch ata Adonai, Hama ariv arabi. Wisdom and wonder, passion and instruction, story and symbol, all these things your Torah gives to us, and the more we devote ourselves to it, the more it grows and gives. What could be a truer token of your abiding love than this holiest of your works and the living language that gives it form? Baruch Ata Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. I 
We continue together at the top of page 157. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe that we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, that there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands, marching together. Fada Adonai et Yaakov, Gaalomi Yad Chazak Mimenu, Baruch Ata Adonai, Gaal Yisrael. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up waiting to do your will. Baruch Ata Adonai. Apore Sukat Shalom Aleinu, Bel Kol Amo Yisrael, Be'al Yerushalayim. We continue now with the singing of the Yismechu, which can be found on page 162. Yismechu Oh, 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 oh,
now as we turn to the tefillah, in which you will find our first set of additions for Shabbat Shuvah, page 164, as we invite you please to rise. Please be seated. Page 173 as we continue together. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Ata Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. Ratzei Adonai Eloheinu Be'amcha Yisrael, Utfilatam Be'ahava Tegabel, Utihi Lerotzon Tamid Avodat Yisrael Amecha. Baruch Ata Adonai, Sh'odcha Levadcha Be'ira Na'avod. 
God of goodness, we give thanks for the gift of life, wonder beyond words, for the awareness of soul, our light within, for the world around us so filled with beauty, for the richness of the earth which day by day sustains us, for all these and more we offer thanks. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hatov Shimcha Lachana El Hodot. Blessing, peace, and prosperity. May we be remembered and inscribed by you. We and all your people, Israel, for a good life and for peace. Blessed are you, Adonai, who makes peace. Baruch Ata Adonai, Osesha Shalom. We pause now for a moment of prayer, in silence, in meditation, in reflection.
turn our thoughts and our prayers and our hearts now to those whom we know, those perhaps who we do not know or do not yet know, who for weakness of body or weakness of spirit are struggling or are in pain now. And we say, Mishaberach Avotenu V'imotenu, Avraham Yitzchak V'yaakov, Sarah Rivka Rachel Valeah, Hu Yivarech Et Acholim. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and strengthen those who are struggling. This evening, we are holding in prayer Barb DiCario, Thomas DiMatteo, Mark Friedman, Elizabeth Friedman, Ira Coleman, Dorothy Jacobson, Shana Esther Butt-Ruchel, Elizabeth Sorniak, Howard Itkin, Chris Sora, Joel Shemaskin, Chaya Necha bat Simon Brightman, Barbara Baer, Chuck Frame, Beata Falkovich, Lawrence Post, Katriel Parachia, Ben Herschel, Laser Veshashana, Richard Reese, Marlene Gordon, Davida Beer, Michael Weistreich, Berta Rubin, and Marlene Etlinger. If there are others whom you would add to this list or names better spoken aloud by you, please, as I look your way, would you share that name with us? The Blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for their health where possible to be restored and their strength revived. May God send them renewal of body and of spirit and enough of what they best need as we join together and say, Amen. Amen. Page 371 is where we continue. today and lots of lovies today and lots of things in hands to keep and, and loved ones agreed beside you and, uh, and, and lots of things that keep our hands busy and, uh, and, and that is good. So I share with you this story that was shared by Rabbi Sam Karf. Larry Feynman's room was filled with toys and books and games that any six-year-old boy would love. But Larry was most interested of all in racing cars. He had them in all shapes and all sizes, in every color of the rainbow. And one day, while Larry was sorting his race cars, he noticed that one of them was missing. It was one of his very favorite cars, a bright red Ferrari that had a yellow racing stripe right down the middle. He looked under his bed, behind a stack of books in his closet, and even in the pockets of his favorite blue jeans. But that Ferrari was nowhere to be found. Later that day, after Larry had turned the house upside down in search of his very favorite car, the doorbell rang. Larry's friend Mark was standing at the door with his missing car. 
Where'd you get that? Larry asked Mark. I borrowed it yesterday when we were playing. Mark answered kind of nervously. He could tell that Larry was already angry. His face expressed that. I just wanted to show it to my brother. It's so cool. You stole it, Larry shouted. I never gave you permission to take that car. Well, I didn't think you would mind. I, I, I guess I just wasn't thinking. Larry grabbed the car out of Mark's hand and he said, I am never playing with you again, ever. You are the worst. You're an awful thief. I wasn't going to keep it, Mark said. Really, please forgive me. I'm sorry. Larry glared at him. No way. I do not forgive you. And he slammed the door in Mark's face. Larry returned the Ferrari to the box that had all the other race cars lined up nicely, and he started to play with them again, but he wasn't quite in the mood. He was angry and upset for the rest of the day, and at bedtime, when his mother came to tuck him in and give him a, t a kiss, she said, can't you turn that frown upside down? You look miserable. I am miserable, Larry told her. I have my red car back, but my best friend is awful and he steals, and he's a jerk. Don't you think you could give Mark another chance, asked his mom? Never, no way, why should I? And he closed his eyes and he tried to fall asleep and forget the whole terrible, awful day. Suddenly, Larry was in a car with his mom driving down the freeway, and his mother was trying to find the exit sign so she could get off. Oh no, said his mom, I guess I missed the exit. Don't worry, mom, we'll just take the next exit and we'll just turn around and go back. But Larry and his mom, they kept driving and there were no more exit signs. Then Larry saw a huge neon sign hanging over the freeway up ahead. And as they got a little closer, the sign said, welcome to the land of no second chances. <laughs> If you missed the exit, tough, keep driving. A few miles later, there was an exit marked, land of no second chances. We better get off there, Larry's mother said, or we might be on this freeway forever. The next thing Larry knew, he was in an unfamiliar classroom, and all the kids were sitting at their desks taking a test, and he looked down at his desk, and there was a copy of the test, but he didn't understand any of the questions, not one. Larry raised his hands and the hand and the teacher walked over to his desk and said, what's the problem? And Larry said, what happens if I fail this test? You'll just repeat first grade next year, she answered. <laughs> just for one test? I've never even learned this stuff. Can I take it again later? No way, never, not here, young man. This is the land of no second chances. And the teacher hurried back to her desk. Larry raised his hand again, and this time the teacher signaled for Larry to come to her. Now what is it? She asked, clearly agitated. I just wondered if I could have a pencil eraser so I could correct my mistakes. The teacher stood up with a grin on her face and addressed the class. Children, she said, would you like to hear something funny? This new boy, Larry, wants a pencil with an eraser. And the whole class started laughing. First little <laughs> giggles and then huge loud chortles and guffaws. And Larry felt the tears gather in the corner of his eyes. What's so funny, he asked. Our pencils have no erasers, said the teacher. This is the land. You aren't supposed to make mistakes. I'm getting out of here, Larry screamed as he ran out of the classroom as fast as his feet would carry him. He ran down the hall and he turned the corner and kept on running until he came head to head with a little girl and they both fell right on the floor. What's your problem, the little girl shrieked at Larry. Didn't you see me? I was right in front of you. I'm sorry, Larry said, I was in a hurry and I didn't mean to hurt you, honest. Will you please forgive me? 
Not a chance, said the girl as she readjusted her barrette and gathered her books and her papers and her pencils. We don't forgive here. I'm never going to play with you, and I'm going to tell everyone else not to play with you, too. So there. Larry stood up, and he started running again. I've got to find the door. I've got to get out of here. I just need to get home. And just then, Larry felt a light tap on his shoulder. Shh. Wake up, Larry. I'm right here. You just must have had a bad dream. And Larry opened his eyes, and he hugged his mother. It was awful, he told her. I was in the land of no second chances, and I couldn't leave. That was just a silly nightmare, said his mom. Come now, get up, and let's get dressed. And Larry jumped into his clothes, and he ran next door to Mark's house. And when Mark answered the door, Larry handed him the red Ferrari. And Mark said, what's this for? And he said, I want you to borrow it, and I'm very sorry that I got so mad. Please say you'll forgive me. I know you didn't mean to steal it, and can we please be friends again? Sure, said Mark, but why are you so upset? I just don't ever want to go back to the land of no second chances, said Larry. <laughs> the land of what, said Mark? Never mind, I'll tell you about it later. So what do we learn from this story at this season? One, our pencils have erasers. <laughs> Two, our keyboards have a backspace and a delete. <laughs> what else do we learn? To forgive, yeah. What were you, were you going to say the same thing? Yeah. What, what else do we learn? Are there second chances? Yeah. 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 And yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, sometimes we, you know what? No, it's, I think, what some people think right at the beginning, right? We don't necessarily think so, but that's especially at this season what we think about. Not always, not always do we think about it so, in such a focused way, but right now, during these high holy days, these yamim noraim, that is our task. But our task isn't to think about it only at the high holy days, but to make sure that what we understand from Larry and Mark and the land of second chances, is that we stretch that learning out a little bit longer, that we both ask for forgiveness and grant forgiveness where and when and how we can, and that, thank God, we don't live in a land called the land of no second chances. Well, every year we have a chance and a second chance and the next year another chance to celebrate our birthdays at Temple, right? And this is the month of? So anyone who has an October birthday, please come up on the Bema. Today? Come 
What up, Abby? Come on. I see ya. Places you can remain standing as we turn to page 586. 586, and we're going to continue with the Alena. recently taken from us, those who died at the season in years past, and those whom we have drawn into our hearts with our own. The Shabbat, we extend sympathies to all who mourn the recent deaths in our period of Shloshim, the first 30 days of mourning, for Ralph Pincus, the father of Josh Pincus, Dennis Goldsmith, the husband of Carol Goldsmith, Miriam Ito, the mother of Liz Rank, grandmother of Jody Merklinger, and Tracy Iman. We also remember the art sites, the anniversaries of the deaths of Joseph Algase, Robert Algase, Harry Berlowitz, Granville Burtis Chambers, Norma Ethel Cohen, Lillian Davis, Mildred Demchik, Samuel Epstein, David Finer, Rini Fishman, Lillian M. Ford, Robert Gayette, Ruth Handelman, Rose Hare, Harry G. Kushner, Leah Lederman, I. Robert Lewis, Bessie Moss, Belle Paulin Mills, Lillian Pranger, Edward Richmond, Libby Brush Steinberg, Marlene Wallowitz, Sylvia Zimbler, Shirley Zimmerman, and Milton Zwart. Are there any other names of recent deaths or our yard sites that you would like to share? Zichonam Levracha, may their memories all be for blessing. The Mordis Kaddish is found on page 598. Yitkadal vi yitkadash shemei rabah, vi alma divrach kirutei, vi amlech malchutei, vi chayechon, vi yomechon, vi chayedechol beit Yisrael, ba agala v'zman kari, vi emru amein. Yehe Shme Rabba Mivarach the Alam Lome Omaya, Yit Barach vi Ishtabach vi it Paar vi it Ramam vi it Nase, vi it Adar vi it Ale vi it Alal Shmeid Gudisha Brichu, Leila min Kobir Chata Mishirata, Tush Bichata Benechimata, Da Miran vi Alma vi Imru Amen, Yehe Shlama Rabba min Shemaya, Bechayim aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'yimru amen. Ose shalom v'romav, v'yaseh shalom. 
Aleinu vi al kod Yisrael, vi al kod Yoshvei Tevel, vi imru, Amen. A God who creates peace in the heavens, let peace descend on us, on all Israel, on all humanity throughout the earth, and let us say together. Amen. Please be seated. Shabbat Shalom. I'd like to welcome everyone tonight, and first I'd like to introduce our greeter for the evening, Josh Faber, who's handing out the song sheets. All right, Josh. And after service, if you have any question, you can uh, ask Josh. Um, our custom to greet each other with a Shabbat Shalom, try to turn to somebody you might not know, introduce yourself, and greet somebody with a Shabbat Shalom. Okay, so that's somebody that you know now and you, and you can share dinner with them because following the service, we go back for a dinner with friends. Seventh graders, great job. Thank you for helping us and leading the service and proud of you people. And before you know it, some of you will be standing up here for Bar and Bat Mitzvah. So that's really great. Uh, tomorrow morning, we have um, Torah study, 9.15 and, and 10.30 morning service. There is no adult ed on Sunday, but the school is in session. So we have school, and then Sunday afternoon, our social action committee is doing a program on democracy, unmasking what's happening to our democracy, what can we do at 1.30. Monday the 7th, our college connection committee is meeting at 6.15, and our accessibility and inclusion committee is meeting at 6.30. Tuesday night, Kol Nidre, 8 p.m at the JCC. Remember your tickets and your IDs, it really helps. And the other thing you need for entrance in on Kol Nidre, cans of food so we can feed people. Since we're not eating, we think of those who aren't able to eat it more times and we bring food and we're gonna get a ton of food this year. So really, bring heavy food. Wednesday the 9th, we have 10 a.m. services begin for the day, all the different services. And then at 1.45, we have our study session and our yoga. At 3.15, we begin our afternoon service, which includes a healing service. And then at 4.30, Yisker, and then Nila. And if you have a shofar, bring it to Nila, because at the end of the service, we have everybody with a shofar come up, and we do a Takiya Gadola Grande. Okay. Um, next Friday, we have young family service at second graders. You're involved at 6 p.m. 6.45 is Shmuzin Shabbat and 8 p.m. service. Torah study on the 12th, it's morning services, Sunday 13th. There will be adult ed. The religious school will be in session. Adult Hebrew class. And especially if you want to learn Hebrew and you haven't learned it yet, come at 10.30. And then that evening we get our next festival, and that is? Sukkot, Sukkot. You're so anxious, you want some, you know, I'm anxious for Simchat Torah too, I gotta tell you. You know what Simchat Torah means? All the holidays are finally finished, I can find <laughs> Anyway, but Sukkot is great because we start off where we go into the sukkah and weather permitting and we have Sundays, sodas, and suds. Suds have to be a certain age, Sundays and sodas, Parents have to get permission for the sodas, and Sundays for those who are, do we get a non-dairy? I don't even remember if we got non-dairy. Anyway, and that's being helped by um, Yolikity. Um, we also have Monday the 14th. Uh, we do have Sukkot morning service at 10.30, uh, the 16th book group. The 17th, we have our special children's agenda, Arab Shabbat. It's an international celebration of children and needs of children. We have our guest speaker, who is our own Larry Marks, a member who is the uh, CEO of um, the children agenda. And we have a special thing, really special that night. A wonderful, wonderful Jewish performer, Naomi Less, is going to be in town that weekend. And she's going to be singing with Cantor that night. And we're really excited about her. So if you want to hear another one of these great song people who are just lighting up the country, come and hear her that night at services. Uh, Saturday the 18th, and um, Torah study, and then the morning service at 10.30, Saul Platt will lead the morning service. Um, I want to thank also Sue Bondi and her committee, if there is any with her, who are preparing dinner with friends. Um, and there will be craft activities for the kids after they eat. Make sure you clean your plates. Um, uh, and that will be done also. So, um, 
We are ready for Mosi, so we can go inside with the E. Have your song sheets, and why are we singing this song? Because Rosh Hashanah, we sing that, honey. Sweet as honey, sweet as honey. Rise for the closing benediction. Please don't leave these sheets in your suits. You can bring them back. Josh will collect them at the end of service. Hiratzon, Anay Lahenu, Shtekadesh Alenu, Shana Tobao Mituka. Eternal God, grant us a year that is filled with goodness, sweetness, kindness, health and peace. Shana Tova, Tikatevu Vatekatemu, may you be inscribed and sealed in the Book of Life. Amen. Shabbat Shalom.